It's your number one lifestyle station, City 1051. I made mention earlier that I'm going to be having an amazing guest join us in the studio. Well, traffic ain't got nothing on us this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the life size Teddy hey. is in the building. That niggas wanted to give really one can. of me today, but it's crazy. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. Chop no for that. You're looking super fly though. Hey. Like, are you sure it was this, you know, this whole setup that made you need to win the traffic? Let us blame it on the traffic. Let us blame it on the traffic. I hear blame, you. Yeah, so, so my name is Bybee Sauce. I've got Life Size Teddy. Everybody is talking about Life Size Teddy right now because she is the latest signing to Maven Records. How do you feel? How do you feel? Like, just, just try to contain your emotions and all of that. So, I, tell us, how I do you mean, feel? I'm literally finding myself right now, so... <laughs> you know, easy. I'm hot like a heater. Heater. <laughs> the pressure is getting worse. Uh. I'm worse, uh, but I feel super amazing. Mm. I feel grateful, um, ultimately, for right. having this opportunity mm -hmm. to share my journey and my music with everyone. Mm. It's really... It, I mean, it's still, like, a feeling that's still sinking in yeah, yeah, yeah but ultimately i feel amazing i feel grateful and i feel you know like ready ready yeah. to take over you get me we, we, we love we love all of that and you know it's just, it's just so interesting how you know don jazzy comes out and just rolls out this you know this pleasant surprises on us and I all know, of that right? how were you found very interesting story huh. um, i'm a big fan of lady paul Oh, I mean, go figure. I, I go know. Figure. I'm a big fan of Ladipo. So, okay. um, back in 2018, he was looking for a super fan to, you know, perform with him on stage. He, mm -hmm. had, he was having his show coming up. So, he, I mean, I had dropped some messages on his DMs. And, you know, like, those are nice. Did he read prior to that? Obviously, time? Obviously, was obviously, it super obviously not. You know, he didn't. But then, uh, I don't know. He just stumbled on my page by right. chance one okay. day, and he went through my messages. He saw them. He went through my SoundCloud. He saw my SoundCloud. He listened to like the music. So you already had content, you know, yes, out there. I've been, yeah, I've Ooh. been, you know, putting myself out there okay. for a long time now. So he saw my SoundCloud. He went to my page. He saw some freestyles on my page, and he okay. he went to my messages and he saw I left messages for him. Obviously, wow, you know, fun okay. girl messages. Okay. But I mean, he texted me and went back and forth and he told me, you know, he wanted me to, have to come. And I did. And we had so much fun on stage. Wow. So he called you to perform, yeah? Yeah, we performed together. It was really, huh. it was top two moments at his show. It was really, really So great when, when, when was this? It was, this was in 2018. 2018. Fast yeah, forward so, to now. Yeah, so when I was there, when we performed, it was really dope. I didn't know that music execs were watching, really. I was just having fun. Oh. Yeah. I was having fun. But after huh. the show... <laughs> okay, okay. I know. After the show... Um, I made contact with Rima, the director of A&R. Mm -hmm. you know, I follow her on Instagram, she followed back. So we kind of sort of had a, a cute relationship, like text back here right, and there, right. how are you doing? Yeah, so um, fast forward to 2020, COVID happened, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. But I mean, COVID didn't stop anything. Yeah. I was just out of my mind. I didn't have a studio to go to, so I reached out to Rima. And I asked her if I could, I mean, come to the studio to use one of the studios. Okay. Yeah. I know. I, I was reaching. I was really, really reaching. Ah, because it won't be like, <laughs> the audacity. I know. I was reaching, but um, she she was okay with mm -hmm. that. She told me she was going to um, reach out to people. I asked if it was okay. So she reached out to Jazzy, asked if it was okay. Wow. Yeah. And I started recording the studio. At, and... Two weeks later, I started seeing like some other kids at the studio, you know, like, huh. that's when I realized, and I chat about uh, an academy, so I texted her again and asked, I have, Ma, I have this an academy, can I join? <laughs> hey, baby girl, it's like, okay, okay, keep going, keep going. Yeah. So, um, she, she obviously reached out to Jazzy again, and everybody welcome, was happy to have me. Um, Saints Rima is kind of like your, your soul sister. She, yes, she's amazing, she's such a sweet huh, girl. Okay. She's probably not listening, but she, Rima, I love you so much. Okay. Yeah, she, she's going to yeah. watch it. So Rima, yeah. I love you so much for validating my dreams. Okay, okay. Mwah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah. So she, I reached out to her. She told me to, you know, 
them send music. Jazzy approved of the session, my right. music, um, all the songs I've been working on. So I did. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, somebody from the company reached out to me that they were interested. From Maven, no. From Maven, yeah. Reached out to me and said they were interested in, like, you know, going forward with me. It was really vibes. <laughs> I'm I'm just here trying to soak in all the information, <laughs> I know. and it just it, it it just feels like if you ask for it, it just happens. So it feels like you just manifest what you want. Yeah, and then basically. you know, I was I was I was watching your you know some of the videos on your pages. Mm -hmm. I've been stalking. Oh my god! Well. And you know, you you call yourself like a prophecy fulfilled kind of. Yeah. So I mean, is that in relation to I mean this journey of yours? I mean, yes, it is. I. I am very, very delulu when it comes to huh. um, actualizing and manifesting my my dreams. You know, I I say the most outlandish thing, and I just I just wait for God to let it happen. You believe really. it, you receive it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Really, that's what it is. Okay, okay, fantastic. So, I mean, <clears throat> aside from the pole. Yeah. Who else do you, you know, draw inspiration from? You listen to them, you feel good about their music. I wish I could show you my Spotify or Apple Music playlist right hmm. now. I have, I listen to a ton of people. <laughs> I listen to a ton of people. Right. I draw inspiration from everywhere, um, from everything. I'm in the radio station right now, and I'm really being inspired by no, you. Tr trust me, girl, you are going to put that inspiration to the <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm inspired by so many different artists, mm -hmm. from all the way from Beyonce, Rihanna, to Burna Boy, to Whiskey, right, to right. to everyone. Everyone. Really. I mean, still, still talking about that music space, right? I mean, when it comes to Nigeria, we have seen um, this genre rap now, mm -hmm. hip hop. You know, especially when it comes to female. Uh, dominating that space I mean throwing it way back to the likes of chemistry Buki um, Eva lawyer Sasha P Muna mm -hmm. you know and I mean um, the, the conversation of rap is dead 2022 I will never forget whiskey made that statement and I'm here calculating the time you were in the maybe an Academy when you heard that did you hear it yes I did how did it make you feel um, knowing that you're about to emerge and then someone is already <laughs> you know pouring water on your fire I mean um, that was a really sensitive time <laughs> right. but um, you you can see things from his perspective as well I don't think he meant any harm mm. by saying that really I feel like that's that's a thing that even rappers say rap is dead mm. yeah so it was, it was really just to me my personal opinion of it is that it was really just a conversation starter because after mm. that after that after he tweeted that mm. you saw other people coming out rapping right you know responding like, exactly so people it, it makes that rap is dead combo comes up every <laughs> once in a while to okay. like wake rappers back up huh. that's what i think okay so to you is rap dead to me huh. <laughs> i'm literally sitting out right here do i look dead to you i don't think <laughs> so that? John Week by Life Size Today on your number one lifestyle station, City 1051 of the EP. Yeah. Life Size Teddy. So, I mean, um, I still have her in the studio. If you've got any questions for her, you want to just, you know, hear her talk to you, they're all your favorite songs here. Yeah, but oh you must God. have. No, 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 no. You <laughs> oh must have God. one. You must have one that you're like, nah, this one, sweat and blood went into penning this one down. Okay. Out of the EP now. Okay, why you say so? I have my favorite. You do. Do you want to tell me first? No, you tell me. I asked you first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, you know, uh, it's it's a little bit hard to choose. I know. You yeah, know, choose you your can't baby. choose exactly. You choose favorite, a favorite yeah. child. Right. It's really, really hard. And I don't know. Okay, what don't I mean, don't don't let me put you in that spot. For me, I really, really, really love. <laughs> so, like, thank you for answering the question. You already answered the question. Promise he is your favorite child, you know, of the EP. But uh, I think I, I love um, hypnotic. Ah, you're my babe for real. For life. You're my babe for like, real. I, I think you just went hard. Like, mm -hmm. no holds barred. Like, 
or anything that was happening after this i don't care yeah. like it was just like how 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 is your you know penning uh you know lyrics down how how is it like for you it's really just I mean to brag, but come on, <laughs> brag! It's all I you. I mean to brag, but it's really just another day at the office for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it really is just another day at, right. at, at work. It was it was really working on hypnotic, really amazing. Big shout out to Andre Vibes. Mm. Um, I like to experiment, right. and anytime I go to the studio, I experiment, and that was just an amazing experiment. Mm. Came out so beautifully, uh, but the pen game, don't worry, it's just another day. There. Another day at the office, and that brings me to my next question. Let's talk about ghostwriting. Um, so you have been putting in work before mm -hmm. now, and on you know streaming platforms and mm -hmm. all of that. Give enough credit to ghostwriters, and have you ever written for anyone before her? Um, yes, I think people should. Give credit first of all yeah I think I should say this mm. collaboration right. is very very important okay as a creative I think we're past the era where um, ghostwriting or just writing songwriting mm -hmm. when you say ghostwriting it sounds very absurd or very wrong it sounds almost sounds very but it's a thing yeah it's it's writing the songwriters there's there's everybody can exist in a space songwriters okay. can exist artists can exist. for those two i have um songwriting credits on overdose baby <laughs> nice yeah, overdose, me. yeah i i have songwriting credits on overdose and feeling come on now and more to come you know <laughs> we cannot wait for all of that good stuff then talking about more to come um visuals for your ep do you have mm -hmm. some songs in particular you want to shoot visuals um for? i just say watch out watch out for teddy no 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 seriously seriously tease I'm not, us a bit i'm just tease saying us a I'm bit. Tease, this is the, okay this is the epic tease you all know right. like you you don't know what i'm up to but when i come out come you're on. gonna see me you know you're gonna <laughs> nice, see me nice. Okay, okay. I mean, talk. let's talk about your name, Life Size Teddy. So you feel like you're Teddy Bear. I think I read one Just article like that. You do, actually. Yeah. You do, but then was that word, you know, formed? Oh, me? no. I've been called Teddy on my life. For real? Yeah. Cause By mommy, daddy, yeah, siblings, everyone. boyfriend? They started calling me Teddy. My family started calling me Teddy. Huh. Yeah, because apparently I look like a teddy bear. Okay. Yeah. I was... I mean, growing up, I used to be so much smaller and cuter and like yeah. fluffier. So I used to be called Teddy. Um, I just added the life size prefix to um, it. At uh, what time did you add that? Maybe when I was 16 or 17, when I was taking rap seriously and like I wanted to, oh. you know, have my own identity. I figured Teddy was everyone. Everybody could be Teddy. People whose <laughs> names are yeah. Theodore, they call them Teddy, you know. Mm -hmm. So I wanted. I, I mean, there's Teddy A. Exactly. Right. You get my point. So huh. um, I just looked in the mirror and I figured, you know what, life size. I look like a real life teddy. So life size teddy. So I was yeah. telling my interns before yeah. you came in, because I was thinking, because I knew that you were going to come in on the show. Yeah. So I had this teddy. Aww. And I have a life size teddy. Aww. I'm telling you, the teddy is as big, not as big as me, but bigger than you. Yeah. I'm like, if I bring, it's gonna be quite intimidating for <laughs> maybe my colleagues. So let me just, you know, stop at that. But we're definitely going to be having so much fun. I mean, yeah. after this, we're gonna shoot content just so people can watch on different social media platforms okay. on City One Zero Five One. But then again, as you leave, you need to leave us with something. You said you have more projects coming up this yes, year. Yes, I do. Just. I mean, you know what? what? Just keep your eyes glued to and your ears. Keep your eyes glued to your screens and mm. your ears on the ground because yeah. um, I'm here now. You know the prophecy. Come on. <laughs> the prophecy is here now, and you're going to be seeing a whole lot of me. I'm. I'm not going to cap. I'm going to be in your faces. You're mm. going to see me till like you get tired. And when you get tired, you come back online and you're going to see me again. One more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right. going to be in your faces. That is my, that is my own, my own thing to do right now. I'm right. just going to be Put in everybody's work. faces. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, when it comes to rap, a lot of people use it to diss. Have you ever used it to diss your friends? Like, 
this because when oh i used to do that when ah. i was so much yeah i used to text yeah. back to I used yeah. to text. So I mean, has yeah. that changed or your? Um, oh, that's changed. That was that was when that was way before I was. When you were petty, I, used to I wasn't. Petty. I wasn't even petty. I was just trying to figure out what I liked in rap. You know, it was right. interesting to. Um, I used to text back when I was like ten or eleven. Okay. Or twelve. Yeah, I used to text back to <laughs> some older kids on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, used to, yeah. I was trying to figure out, and I learned a lot. I learned how to see you yeah. we're definitely going to be having that conversation that's all right but then again for people to follow you on social media on tiktok snap i can't keep up everywhere TikTok, snapchat guys, x is the facebook instagram mm -hmm. is the is the um is the 21st day of the <laughs> month <laughs> um yeah. my project dropped on the 10th so that's like 11 days yeah. in now yeah um you guys I just dropped a project, a self-titled project. My name is Life Size Teddy, and the project is titled Life Size Teddy. So you can't actually go wrong in searching mm -hmm. for, you know, the project. The project or the name, just type Life Size Teddy everywhere. It's on every DSP that you have access mm -hmm. to. And you can find me, when you do find my music and you listen to it and you enjoy it, you can find me on all social media platforms too. On Instagram and on TikTok, I'm Life Size underscore Teddy underscore, on threads too. Um, but on Twitter, I am life size underscore Teddy underscore. So on Instagram, I'm life size underscore Teddy, Teddy. And on Twitter, I'm life size underscore Teddy underscore. Okay? Just awesome. one underscore. So you can't miss it. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Thank you for Thanks. coming through. We had, had so much wonderful. fun. Yeah. All right. So one of my faves now. So you are going to pre-sell this song. People are about to listen to it. So okay. yeah, so pre-sell okay. it. Okay, so okay, so this record is one of my favorite records that I've done, mm -hmm. that I've ever done. Yeah. It's just so thrilling, such a vibe, and you know it's like private dances and private trips. Mileage high if you catch my drift. Brand new out because I'm that girl, your wildest fantasy. I'm the Anybody come close, tell them, mind your business, Ooh. mind your business, Ooh. mind your business, because cause, like we're going hypnotic. Come yeah. on now. <laughs> <laughs> that 